Hi guys, Kristen here with Millennial Moms and today I'm gonna talk to you about taking your baby on a red-eye flight. Now, a lot of people are worried to fly with babies on long overnight flights, but personally, my husband and I absolutely love it for two main reasons. First, not a lot of people take red-eye flights, so if you're lucky, there'll be a seat between you and your spouse where your baby can actually sleep on a seat. The second reason we love it is that babies sleep at night. So anytime we've taken a red-eye flight, our daughter, Chell, has slept the entire time. Now that she's 10 months old, she's getting to where she's crawling during the day, and she wants to be really active. So flying during the day is hard, but if we fly at night, she's gonna be asleep anyway, so she just sleeps the entire flight and it makes it a lot easier from that respect. Now the first thing I highly recommend you take if you are gonna be flying with your baby on a red-eye flight is a very large, comfy blanket. This blanket is probably big enough for a twin bed, and here's why we bring it. This works amazing to kind of even out your lap. So usually on a red eye, your baby's gonna be sleeping on you, unless you're lucky enough to have a seat, empty seat between you and your spouse. So if your baby's sleeping on your lap, if you have a big blanket like this one that you can lay across your lap so it's not near as bumpy and it's more of like a, a bed surface, it's gonna be a lot easier for your baby to sleep. Another thing that my husband and I do is on these long flights, my daughter actually sleeps on his lap because he's quite a bit taller than me, so he has a larger lap and a larger surface for her to lay on. It makes it a lot easier, and that way we don't have to hold her the entire time. The other thing I really recommend you bring with you is a pacifier clip. If your kid will take binkies, these are a lifesaver when you're ascending and descending because they help their ears pop. But Put it on a clip and clip this end to your daughter's clothing. The last thing you want is her binky to fall on an airplane floor. Airplanes aren't the cleanest places, so yeah, you don't want this falling on the floor where everyone else's feet have been, but if it's clipped onto your kid, it won't fall off. If it does fall out of their mouth, it'll just fall on this blanket you have and it won't be dirty. The next thing that is a must for us when we're traveling on red eyes are neck pillows. Now most people put these around their necks when they sleep and that helps a lot, but what I've found very useful is to just have this to use anywhere. A lot of times when I'm trying to get my daughter to fall asleep, I'll end up in very awkward positions on an airplane, so maybe the armrest will be digging into my back or I'm leaning against the side of the plane kind of awkwardly. So having a neck pillow that's kind of squishy like this one, you can put this anywhere and it'll make things more comfortable. So usually I don't put this around my neck, I put it behind my back and it helps a lot. The next tip is to take your stroller and car seat to the airport with you, take it and check it at the gate. All they do is put it underneath the plane and then by the time you're off the plane, it's typically at the jetway waiting for you. So it's really, really easy to check a stroller and car seat all you have to do when you get to your gate is go up to the, the ladies at the counter and tell them you want to gate check a stroller and a car seat. Um, they'll give you two tags if you have a stroller and a car seat. If you just have a stroller, they'll just give you one. Um, but these tags, they just write kind of your seat on it, your flight, where you're going. They give you a receipt, they put this on your car seat, and it's that easy. You can keep your kid in the car seat or stroller right until you get on the plane and then you take them out, break it down, and they do the rest of the work. I hope if you do take a red-eye flight with any of your kids that some of these tips helped. If you have taken red-eye flights or when you decide to take red-eye flights, please leave me a comment down below and let me know how it went. What helped you out on these red-eye flights? If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see yesterday's video from Millennial Moms, click this box right up here. If you want to see more of my videos, click right down here. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. There's a button right here for that. I'll see you guys next week.